And a new resource center for veterans will have to wait a little longer. Alderman decided to hold off making a final decision on the new building for now. Fox Illinois' Monique Davis is working for you to share what led to that decision. Monique? The proposed center will be placed on Stanton Street in Ward 2 in Springfield. Now, with the support of all the aldermen, Sean Gregory wants to give the community a chance to be a part of the decision before moving forward with the project. Harvey Hall, president of Be Neighbors Affordable Housing for Veterans, is hoping to receive approval to partner with the economic development team to build the resource center. The project would also cater to homeless veterans, but Ward 3 Alderman Roy Williams Jr. says residents should be able to voice their opinions before anything starts. Somebody's going to build something, the proper thing to do is to survey them or canvas them and figure out it, who's going to be for it, who's going to be doing it, kind of an analysis. The aldermen will speak to residents before making a final decision, and the plans will be brought back up in future council meetings. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Monique Davis. Thank you, Monique. And coming up tonight on Fox Illinois News at 9, we will hear from the developer pushing for the center to be built about why he believes this is a resource the capital city needs. Welcome back. Now in your capital city watch, a new resource center for veterans will have to wait a little longer. Alderman decided to hold off making a final decision on the new building for now. Fox Illinois' Monique Davis is working for you to share what led to that decision. Okay, so there's a motion to hold past 10 voting, yes, none voting, no. Harvey Hall, president of Be Neighbors Affordable Housing for Veterans, is hoping to receive approval to partner with the economic development team to build the resource center. It would provide resources to our veterans who live in the community, be able to go to the Learn the Technology Center whenever they choose to. They, uh, it cut away a lot of barriers for us, like catching buses to getting resources. In 2023, the B Neighbors Veterans Community received $4.8 million from the Illinois Housing Development Authority to build tiny homes for veterans on Stanton Street. That money will also be used to partner with Memorial Behavioral Health to provide resources once the center is built. The additional $400,000 from the city will help build the facility. Something like this had never happened before, where they have their own houses, like their own individual houses. It's not going, they're not going to apartment building, go downstairs to office to get the sources. They get the whole community center on site with the, with the build, with the, uh, I'm sorry, with the houses. And so it's American dream, really. Ward 3 Alderman Roy Williams Jr. says residents should be able to voice their opinions before anything starts. Somebody's going to build something. The proper thing to do is to survey them or canvas them and figure out it, who's going to be for it, who's going to be doing it, kind of an analysis. Hall plans to attend the Homeowners Association's next meeting along with Gregory to speak with local residents. And we're going to take care of our veterans here in Springfield. The aldermen will get opinions from the public and then make a final decision. That was Monique Davis reporting. Alderman Williams wanted to make it clear that in situations like these, they have to do what is best for the community. The Homeowners Association meeting will take place on Tuesday, September 10th. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.